Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Changing on a more somber note, Richard, yeah. Schirmer, Richard Sherman was arrested on suspicion of DUI. Sherman would stop going 79 and 60, mm. his second DUI in three years. Mm. Sherman was previously arrested for driving under the influence in addition to four other charges in July of 2020 when he crashed his SUV in a construction zone and tried to break into its in-laws' home. According to Mike Florio, this arrest could be a huge problem for Sherman. In March of 2022, he pleaded guilty to first-degree negligent driving, which included two years of monitor supervision. The two-year period has not yet expired. Mm. Shit. I know Sherm a little bit. Um, mm. I used to speak to him a lot when he played. You know, we would touch base, and I was, you know, offer insight about not just not his game, because I didn't play the cornerback position, but about how he should handle certain situations. And right. when he took the job at FS1, I talked to him talk to him occasionally uh, about what to expect and 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 how to prepare and right. how to become great. Uh, Cause I said, I believe you want to be great just like mm -hmm. you were when you played the cornerback position. So this is really tough for me, but what I don't understand is that Sherm has been in this situation before and for him to allow himself to put, no, for him to put himself back in harm's way, right? Because you do realize this isn't about you. Because once you become you inebriated and you become behind the wheel, you blame bring everybody else that's on to in the uh, that's on the road. You bring them to the equation. Yes, sir. Now you, hey, he got stopped. Luckily, no one got hurt. Mm -hmm. But how many times we just saw a guy get what 12, 13 years in Henry Rose? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Speed. lady lost her life. He lost his career. Right. And, and Sherm had just gone through this in yeah. 21, not even two years ago. Yeah. Not even two years ago, Ocho. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. bro, I get it. I get it, Ocho. And people are like, well, Shannon, why they want? I say, bro, people need you to see that Ferrari. They need you to see that Lambo or that Range or that Cullinan. Right. If I take an Uber or a Lyft because I'm driving, you not going to see that. Yeah. I need to pull up to the club and you need to see me get out. Them gold wing doors when them gold doors open up. Mm -hmm. You need to see that quarter of a meal car right. that I got. If I come up in an Uber, if I come up in a Lyft, bro, come on now. Yeah. That's the thinking. Yeah. But, Ocho, we've seen enough to know that can happen to me. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you've seen so, so people that you know and seen it happen to right. and saw it happen to. So this notion that, oh, man, that can never happen to me. Oh, right. I was the same way. I ain't never wore a seatbelt. The first time I wore a seatbelt was in 1999. You know what happened? Derek Thomas got in a car accident. He got mm -hmm. thrown from a car because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I knew DT. Yeah, we had our issues, but I knew DT. We hung out together. We partied together. We worked out together. And we went to numerous Pro Bowls together where he drove and I was in the car with him and we laughing and talking. So that was a personal situation. Like, oh, hell. That happened. It ain't somebody in Kansas that I didn't know. Right. Man, that's somebody I really, really knew. Mm -hmm. And for Sherm to, to allow to put himself back in harm's way and to bring and potentially bring others, that's what I'm most disappointed in because yeah. he knows better. Yeah. I'm um listen, I, I I love Sherm. Very, very good friend of mine, obviously. Um, spoken to him many a times throughout the years. You know, over the years, I respect him. As a player, I respect him as a man. I respect him as an individual with a brilliant mind. Someone with a brilliant mind with great knowledge of the game on and off the field. Obviously, I'm disappointed in his decision to want to continue to drink after having situations in the past before. Um, as someone who has made mistakes in life as well, um, I have learned from those mistakes. I have learned from those lessons and those, those times. I know what it's like, though, those times of getting in trouble. And it's dark, you know, there, there's no help. All those that were in your corner, obviously when it's time for, for those to support you, everybody gone. I know what it's like. I know what Sherman's probably going through right now. Um, you you, you gotta tough. fix it. You, you, you gotta fix it. It's tough. How do you fix it? I don't know, especially- You gotta you, get help because clearly that's an issue that he wants to drink and feel he can drive. Right. And yeah, no and, matter, 
Right. And you know yeah. what's funny? It's funny that I really have no, it's hard for me to speak on the topic outside of the mistake itself because I've made mistakes in life my, myself, but I'm not a drinker. So I'm not sure how hard it is for someone to give up on something, give on some, give up on something like alcohol. Is it really that hard to give up, especially if it's affecting now, not just other people's lives, but your livelihood yeah. and, and the work that you do. Um, so it, it's hard for me to talk on it. So I'm I'm sure you put it to you like this when it comes to alcohol. Is is it it that difficult to stop? How about I put it to you like this? You take your worst situation. Would you put yourself back in that situation again? No. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, Oh, see, now I can see I got to give you see what I try to do is that I try to give people things that Mm -hmm. they see you don't drink. So Mm -hmm. you don't know what it's like to stop drinking or drink and then try to get behind the wheel. How about I put it to you like this? I take your worst situation. Mm-hmm. And then would you put yourself back in that situation no. again? Because you, you know what? If you take my worst situation that I've had, I'd never recover again because I ain't getting a second chance. See, I'm not getting another chance. It ain't happening. Come hella high water. And, and it wasn't nothing but God's favor. It wasn't nothing but God's favor. You know, I don't do all that preaching and yeah. God this and God that. But I know, I know good and goddamn well how I'm back where I fell from again. It ain't yeah. no goddamn, ain't no goddamn luck. Damn, I, I mean, listen, I love Sherman to death, man. I hope he gets the help that he needs. Yes. Uh, I'm sure he will, being the brilliant mind that he is, outside the mistake that he's made, the reoccurring mistake that he's made, he's going he gonna, he gonna to be all right. I think he's going to be all right. But you, you, you can't I put hope so. not just yourself in harm's way, but others as well on the road. That, and see, that's the thing, Ocho. It's not an isolated incident. It's just not you. Right. Because guess what? You brought every other car that's on the road at the time that you're on the road, you brought them into the equation. Right. Right. And, oh, but it didn't, but I'm saying, we always say what well, it didn't happen, but then when it does happen, oh, yeah. I'm saying thoughts and prayers, thoughts mm-hmm. and prayers ain't help nobody. Right. Right. I just, I just feel, I just, like I said, I, like I said, I know Sherm and I just hate that he put himself back in this situation. Right. We are, uh, um, after the Super Bowl, Delaney Walker in 2013, he lost his uncle and uh, aunt. No, his yeah, his uncle and his aunt were killed by drunk drivers five hours after watching him play in the Super Bowl. The nail house, he lost his sister-in-law and three nephews that were killed by drunk drivers a few years ago. Nephews were five, two, and seven months. Mm. You know, I, I I don't think when you when you think and about your it, reaction time, Ocho, you see, you never look. I your reaction time is so much slower. It's bad, huh? Yes, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you don't have enough sleep. Your reaction time, if they keep you, they keep you up and they put people through tests in the military, they right. want you to be able to function. That's why they wake your ass. That's what they call it hell week. They put you through the test where you and you still got to function, but your reaction time is not the same when you get eight to ten hours of sleep. So just that's crazy. It, oh, you know how Ocho, just think about it. When somebody flashed their hand in front of your face, all they do is right this, and the ball, the ball to hit the ground. Yeah, yeah. That, that that's the reaction. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's all it takes. Yeah, that's all it takes. Damn. But sure, man, bro, take time. Get this problem solved, bro. Cause you, you better than this. You have a lot to give, and uh, I would hate to see you really, really, not only hurt yourself but harm someone, harm someone else. Right now. Uh, uh, your television career should be the last thing that's on your mind. The first thing that should be on your mind is getting the help that you need Mm -hmm. so you can be there for your family, your friends, and your loved ones that's counting on Richard Sherman. So we're praying for you, bro. Thank God nobody was injured, but uh, we wish you the best and uh, get the help that you need. Yeah. 